Then San Francisco-based Lyft is facing a lawsuit for allegedly failing to protect passengers and drivers from physical and sexual assault. In fact, 17 survivors are suing the company, including a woman from Napa. KPX 5's Kit Doe spoke with her today. For Amy Collins, it's been two and a half years since that day. She hasn't felt right since and is not sure she ever will. It does. It does help to, you know, speak about it, let it be out there. Amy picked up a passenger at a winery in Napa and right away could tell he was intoxicated. And he got up in between the driver's side seat and passenger seat and just was on top of me telling me, you're so beautiful, I love your breasts. And then he would come around my neck and he had his hands around my neck choking me. And then he would just keep fondling me and I kept trying to push him back, kept trying to push him back, but he kept coming at me. And my phone was right here and I couldn't get to it to call 911. I'm on the highway. Did you think you were gonna die? Yeah, I thought there was a possibility this could, this could not end well. This has happened so many times. Her story is not unique. She joins a total of 17 drivers and passengers who filed a lawsuit against Lyft, all of whom say they were physically or sexually assaulted in some way. The lawsuit says the company knew about a pattern of increasing violence but failed to protect drivers and passengers. I just think it's time that people start standing up to this company and that's what we're trying to do. Attorney Tracy Cowan says they're demanding better background checks, dash cams, route monitoring, improved law enforcement cooperation and counseling for victims. All we can hope for is baby steps and incremental change. Um, I would love to see all of those things happen. If some combination of those things happened, I think it would be a win. Now Amy rarely leaves the house, feels distant from her friends and family, and has developed depression. But one thing she will not be is quiet. And if this would help Lyft to do anything to prevent this from this happening to anybody else, it would make me feel like justice was served. In Napa, Kitto, KPIX5. Lyft released a statement today saying the company is focused on the safety of both drivers and riders. They also will take action and invest in, quote, technology, policies, and partnerships to do so.